Intuitive Machine says its Moonlander, Odysseus, is expected to run out of power in the coming hours. That'll cut off communication with flight controllers and bring this historic mission to an early end. But despite a less than ideal landing for the commercial spacecraft, this mission, along with NASA's progress on Artemis and active recruitment for a simulated Mars mission, have put the spotlight once again on space exploration. For the first time in 50 years, a U.S.-made spacecraft touching down on the moon. Overcoming navigation issues, Odysseus landed on the relatively unexplored moon's south pole. The company behind ODI says these images released Tuesday are the closest observations of the area. It's of high scientific interest because it may have ice that in the future could be used for water or fuel. This is a gigantic accomplishment. NASA, the main financial backer of the Odysseus mission, plans to send a crewed mission to the moon's South Pole as early as September 2026 as part of the agency's Artemis missions. The goal? To establish a human base on the moon and eventually use what's learned there to take the next giant leap, sending astronauts to Mars. On Earth, NASA is already preparing for human exploration of the red planet. We already, you know, send things to Mars, right? So a real complication with Mars is the human component. A four-person crew is currently living and working inside a 1,700-square-foot habitat, simulating physical and mental challenges of a Mars mission. Being uh, away from family and friends for an extended period of time, living in a small space with other individuals for an extended period of time, this research combined with other work on the International Space Station and future lunar missions will help scientists understand the challenges they might face and test out possible solutions.